Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming by again. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for visiting me. And yes, today we are going to make another gnome. Another gnome. It's a Christmas gnome. So it's super fun. It's so easy and I hope you like it. And yes, I want to welcome you guys again on my channel. And this is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by. And let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so with this particular project that we are going to use are number one, you won't believe it. It is the slippers. Yeah, we are going to make a gnome from the slippers. Alright, so there you go. And this is a challenge, guys, and I never made a gnome from slippers so let's see and find out all right so what we can make from this all right so that's one of the items slippers so what you need next is rocks as you can tell i love rocks i usually use rocks as always and i would recommend rocks and I have this scarf or a fleece scarf from the dollar store as well. To be honest, guys, majority that I used from this gnome are from the dollar store. And we need a scattered decorations. And I'm aiming to use that shoes or boots. I hope, I wish that i have a black but i don't have a black one so i just use the red why not right and i'm going to use as usual i've been using this vase filler and we are going to use that for the gnome's nose and next is i have this my kids have a miniature toys and i might have to use this coffee mug or something or a starbucks something so we'll see how it goes all right and of course this one right and if you don't have a miniature toys or a tiny toys you can always use a star or a tree for you to make the gnome holds it all right so Let's get into this and yeah. And yeah, please don't forget your glue gun, all right? I have my glue gun preheated already and I have that can in there to hold my glue gun because it feels like it's bumpy down here because my glue gun is touching my mat. Anyway, let's get started on this one pair of it. So I'm aiming to cut half in here so we can just start cutting it and with this project guys i promised i use one of this like almost the whole thing so don't throw them away all right and what i did i turned this one inside out and with this hole in here you have to aim that you put a glue in this area with this glue stick like what I'm doing right now so we can close that part all right so you just have to meet the end together and try to close it be very very careful guy this is super hot all right and with this area while that one is drying i always make sure that they are dry because i don't wanna anyway if the glue in there will show it will be covered anyways but it's more safer than sorry all right now what's next is it's basically you use the whole thing and what i did in this area is see this little separate this is going to be my beard of my gnome so that could be this one and i am just going to follow this 
line of the foot of the shoe and I hope it will make it work right there you go now I have the beard ta-da there you go and this one is what we are going to use is the covering of our gnome's head you'll see it why I'm doing this all right so it doesn't need to be perfect that would be perfect and we are going to use this part down here the side of the heel we are going to use that also okay so what I'm trying to do right now is I'm cutting the half of it like almost half of it and because this area I'm going to use that for the gnome's arm and I'm going to cut this part down here because it's going to be the gnome's arm and this one as well and you gotta save this fuzzies because it's going to be the ball of our gnome's hat oh I almost cut myself <laughs> be very careful guys and it doesn't need to be perfect but of course you cut them down to make them look clean and there you go and this is going to be the arm and for the arm and what I'm trying to use right now I'm trying to clean this because it's get something from that and I'm going to put that in there and with this ball what you are going to do is you just have to roll it to create a ball so first you are going it doesn't need this you don't have to mind that at all because you're rolling it anyways so just create a little more of lines in there and you just have to create a ball because it's going to be the hat the ball of your hat so see it's kind of creating already and all you have to do is just keep rolling And be very generous with your glue and then you meet them in the middle all right so when you reach that area you just have to meet them in the middle like you're closing it like so all right so now you have a nice ball for your hat there you go so that's what I did you got a nice ball for your hat there is your beard and this is for your arms for your gnomes and the rest can be discarded then now let's open this up you don't have to worry about this guys because you are going to be covered this one anyways with the gnomes beard so that's going to be the plan next is you're going to put a rock on it i always like to estimate guys and i kind of like not wasting everything in here so as you can see it seems like i used almost the whole thing and that could be perfect now like it's almost like halfway so that is perfect and after that I'm going to add the fillers this one and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fill this up and close it with a glue gun remember I use the rubber band and then the thread on my previous gnomes tutorial so this time I'm going to try to fill this up with a filler all right 
Now it's almost kind of full. And don't worry about this, just ignore that because it'll be covered anyways. So next what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try to close it just like that. Okay. And you are just going to close this with a glue on it. And you are going to close this be very, very careful because it's hot. I'm kind of like used to the heat of the glue gun, guys, because I work on this all the time. Like on my crafts, I always have a glue with me. Glue gun. <laughs> it's not as um, super, super hot. I use the low temp, so don't, no worries. And... The reason why I have this round ball is actually to help it close at the same time. So they're really secured as well when it is covered by that round circle, okay? So now you have to put this glue on the top of it and then you can Cover it up with that round circle or that circle shape kind. And it'll be secured. I don't know what's going on, but I think I overcooked my glue. That's why it keeps opening in. Alright, so no worries about the head because either way it'll be covered by a hat anyway, so. There you go. And they are totally closed. And you just have to remove those web there are always web everywhere when I work on glue gun so next all you can do is you can just press it firmly so they are holding really nicely like right here where we met our um, cut you before so this area is where you're going to put the gnome's nose. First, you can aim of how deep would it be. So I was thinking that could be the deepest one. So I will cut this area down here. I will turn it the other side. So I'm not going to ruin that area. And as you can see, I am going to put that gnome's nose down here. And I'm using this filler, the vase filler, and I'm going to use the silver one. And I'm just going to put that in there, just like so. And then when it's dry, you can just... Put this in there and just work on it how you want it to be, all right? And all you use, everything in here is from the dollar store. And there you go. And what you can do is you can work on it on the top. Try to secure them. And just close it down just like so. And you don't have to worry about this area because it's going to be covered anyways with the gnome's hat. Okay. Now we are working on our gnome's hat. Alright, let's put this one in this corner. And what I'm trying to do is I'm going to cut something... Maybe, I know, I need to, okay, maybe something, let me, 
and do this. I am going to maybe meet it like that. And I'm going to cut, ooh, I'm going to cut this area just like that. Maybe, and I don't need this. I might need this, but I'm not right now. But I'm going to cut this area right here. It doesn't need to be perfect, guys. So there you go. I don't think I'm going to use it. So I'm going to try and put them aside. And see this folded one? I'm just going to create a almost triangle and I'm going to meet down here in the middle so I'm going to aim like at least in that area to cut them together all right so I'm going to cut this again I'm always aiming guys I don't like to be super perfect in my craft because I like to have fun when I'm crafting so and I'm going to leave at least a little angle in that area right there. And as you can see, it's not even that perfect. All right. And now what we can do is we are going to try and close this. But we are going to do the other way because this is the, the right side, I think. No, this is the right side, so we go to this way. And what I'm trying to do is going to glue this now. So I'm going to make this video faster, all right, guys? So bear with me. And I think that's it. And we are just going to wait until they are dry all right so let's put that aside now we are going to work on our gnome's arm what i'm using is this vase filler again but i'm going to use the smaller size of this vase filler it's this small one i'm not even going to cover it because it's going to be like matching on the gnome's nose so what I'm trying to do is I'm just going to glue it, just leave it like so. And I'm not going to use any glue to make the phrase show in. I just want to make everything easy. It's still looking good, see? Just like that. Like almost the hand are halfway out. So now I'm going to start rolling now. And... Just roll it. I'm not even going to worry about the phrase, guys, because it's an art. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do. And then now you can finally close this like how you want it. And I'm going to close this now, all right? So bear with me. There you go. There is our gnome's arm are done. And there. Super cute. There you go. And I'm going to make this video faster to finish the other arms. All right. that's it our two arms are done and now we are going to work on our gnome's hat here you go and you just have to turn it inside out and that is one of the reason I like to leave that part because so it holds my gnome's hat and what I'm trying to do is wherever I meet on my ball is the spot where I'm going to poke or put my hat on, all right? 
So I am going to find that space and I'm going to put that in there. Just hold it down and let it be. Okay. And I'm going to get another filler again or something. I'm going to put something in there halfway. So in this part, that hat will bend like that. Okay. So I'm going to grab this. Not much. Like almost half of it. Okay. So in that side... And if you can see that, if there is a bending on that hat, and that's what I want, okay? I'm going to put my gnome's hat now, all right? So bear with me. Like I said, I want to start on the nose, as always, and don't worry about the hat like that because it'll be crumpled or something. I'm going to create something cool in it, okay? So I'm just going to cover it. Always start on the nose. All right. And do not close the sides first because you are going to put your gnome's hand in there, okay? So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to glue a little bit on the top to hold it. And another one on the side. So it looks like there is a roll on the gnome's hat. So I'm going to put a glue on the side. And another one on that side. It takes time to make that glue dry. So just take your time. So next what you can do is you can put your gnome's arm now underneath here. You tuck in that area and that's the good thing when you have a long arm because then you can project on how long would be the arm be and that's always awesome. When there's this extra shoulder so then you can adjust it okay and I am putting this now what I'm trying to work on is this um, mug that um, the gnome's gonna be holding is I'm trying to meet this cup down there so the gnome is like almost holding it so I'm going to put a smidge of glue in it just a little smidge and the other hand is going to be holding the handle right there and I'm going to put a little smidge in there too. So it's almost like holding it. And there you go. And I'm just going to tuck in that area right there. And always remember to glue first on the shoulder. And I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to secure the sides in here and work on my gnome's hat so bear with me guys I'm going to make this video goes faster all right and then what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to secure the gnome's beard right now so it stays in one place and obviously this one comes off so I'm trying to glue this again and now we got it and as you can see the gnome is holding that cup and there you go and this is the foam scatter 
And this is the shoes that we are going to use. I got this also at the dollar store. And look how cute that is. The gnome is going to have a shoe. And all you have to do is just kind of match it like how far apart your feet would be. And you just have to put a glue on top. And there you go. You just have to put a lot of glue in it, guys. And you just have to put your gnomes right there on that spot. And you just have to wait until it all dries up. As you can see, it's already standing. It's not even falling, so it's super cool. And there you go. Here's our finished gnome. That's the other first one. And I have the second one. The other one is holding as well a drink. And that's also from my miniature toy. And this one is a red one. But they have the same shoes. Ain't that cute? So I have this and all from that one pair of little sandals or something. So <laughs> I know that you know what I mean. <laughs> so, so there you go guys. It's super cute and fun and hopefully you like it. And I will show you how they stand up. Alright, here we go. And that's it. I think that was the easiest one. Everything is from the Dollar Tree that I purchased those items. And if I can do it, I'm sure you can do it too. So, go and get some. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by Dollar Tree, but I just love all their items. It was so easy. And if we can create something like that and we don't have to buy expensive ones why not right so the miniature one is the ones are the ones that i collected for a few months ago so it's not as planned that i'm going to use it but yeah i finally use it for some reason i guess it's a reason why i'm supposed to have that one <laughs> but i never planned it i promise so yeah thank you so much for watching again shasha sj come back next time you guys are awesome see you soon bye